Sugar Bookers, welcome back to the channel. So today we are here with the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs gameplay footage. I'm so excited and FYI, this is part one of two videos. Okay, disclaimers, let's get them out of the way. Are you ready? First and foremost, this video was sponsored by EA and as you all know, I was flown out to Redwood Shores, California earlier in September to get my hands on this footage for you guys. Just a quick little disclaimer to add to the list of disclaimers this is not final software so in this gameplay video we are going to be basically living a day in the life of the elgato family is what i think they are actually called um do not uh, no delgado delgado i'm sorry elgato delgado <laughs> Okay, and you guys know what gato means, right? Gato means cat. I'm pretty sure we've heard Jen say it a million times. Gato, gato, like gato loco, gato, gato, <laughs> mi gato es tu gato. No, I'm just playing. Anyways, this home that they live in is absolutely gorgeous. When you look out the window, you can actually see the coast of Brendalyn Bay. And down by the dock there, you can actually see a little boat that will transport you um, to various parts of the world. And I think you can actually pick where you'd like to go. So this is kind of like our first um, experience with vehicles in a way, if you think about it. Um, vehicles being a form of transportation. So the Delgado family actually has two animals. They have a really cute pink poodle and then they have this cat that likes to wear a sweater. I don't remember what the animals names are unfortunately but they are so super duper cute. They have two kids, um, a little boy and a little girl and they're looking to expand their family. Just quick little FYI, I did get this footage while I was at Sims Camp so I'm just kind of voicing over it after the fact. Um, now, I mean, doing so, it's really difficult and I was just going to kind of let the footage play and have you guys watch it and just kind of skim through to pick and choose and see what you would like to see um, because I felt like it'd be easier than <laughs> what I'm doing right now, but I'm just exploring. I'm literally playing the game for myself, checking out everything and just kind of seeing how this household functions. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is actually have Eve kind of interact with the cat a little bit. Um, she is such a animal lover. And she's gonna go and blabble, babble to the cat. I'm not sure. This cat has a lot of sass, and this little girl loves, loves to give him, give him a lot of trouble. I don't know what's she doing. She's totally just mimicking him. Oh, look at him looking at her. I absolutely love the interactions between toddlers and the animals. They are so freaking cute. Look at her. And by the way, in this video, we do actually have Mrs. Delgado go and I think we take the poodle, <laughs> which I can't remember her name. I think it starts with an S. I'm not sure. Um, we actually take the poodle to go for a little training because, you know, she's a little mischievous, always getting in trouble, doing things she probably shouldn't. Here's a quick little view of the map. I actually think instead of taking, do I decide to take the, I don't. What was her name? I can't see. I think the other guy is named Justin. Anyways, I know, right? I was so prepared for this, but we're going to go to the pet park where we are going to go and train a little bit. And this is what it's called. It's called Pupperstone Park. And I think we even decided to take the little girl with us, Eve. And here it is. Ooh, I love it. This this whole entire park, or just not even park, but Brindleyn Bay kind of gives me fall vibes. Does anybody else get that feeling? So here we are just kind of looking over the equipment. We have like tubes. We have like the big um, flamethrower, fire of death. Uh, we also have this little stand where we can run obstacle course or we can actually train her on each particular item anyway um I don't know what's happening here for some reason she's like having a disagreement with her daughter kind of difficult but we're gonna just try to do the best that we can here um let me see what we're gonna do I think we're gonna have her go yeah let's have her go here together and we will start training our puppers all right so Cassidy is the poodle's name her name is Cassidy and I do believe this chick had I can't see it but this is like supira I can't see it from here but anyway um pet obstacle course so we need her to complete 20 faults I think I don't know if that's a good thing that sounds like not positive but anyway looks like she's actually natural at this look at her she could be a show dog for god's sake she's beautiful she's doing such an amazing job I did get a chance to play with this um 
uh, before, and I had like a little, I think it was a Yorkie. Maybe it wasn't a Yorkie. It kind of looked like, maybe it was some sort of terrier. And that dog could not run an obstacle course for like beans. Like it was terrible. But she's doing an amazing job. And it looks like we have actually became friends with her. So in the midst of me filming this footage, I am also taking some photos. Uh, now, the unfortunate part about this is not a lot of us got a lot of hands-on time to really take notes, to jot things down. Um, so a lot of this is just for face value. What you guys see is what I know. <laughs> I mean, there are so many things left to the eye. But I really do like the fact that you can take your pets to the obstacle course and train them. And then you can make a day out of it, actually. You know, you can have the kids go play on the swings and make friends. And here you are just kind of sleeping away. Um, there, I do believe the animals get a training skill from this. I'm not 100% sure. And I'm pretty sure Cassidy just took a dump on the floor. I'm... I, <laughs> don't quote me on that so I we ended up getting oh yeah doggy training skill acquired all right so you guys can read that here I think I'm gonna try to like maximize my screen a little bit so I can see um, a little better at to what it is that I'm trying to show you guys so just hang on a second while I'm doing this um, there, I should be able to see the details a bit more so we can train, sit, speak, lie down, roll over. Um, hmm, interesting. So what do we, what did we decide that we're going to go ahead and do? I'm sorry. This is like not my style. <laughs> By the way, this is horrible, but I'm trying to do this voiceover the best that I can. If you don't even want to hear me talk, just pop, like, just mute me, mute me. Like this is the one time that you can tell me, shut up sister. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're trying to, oh, to, to roll over. <gasps> that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy is doing a great job. So what are we doing next? Oh, okay. We're teaching her how to roll over on command. Got it. And I love how she's like really intently watching her. What is Eve doing? She's probably like, see, I swear. She's not even like paying attention. So here's his ring. Um, I think we're going to try to actually have her learn how to do this as well. So so let's go and give it a shot. She seems to be really enjoying this. I do think they get tired eventually, so it's not like something you can do all day long. But anyway, let's see how she does. Uh, I think once they get even better at this, um, they can, you can like have, I think flames even. I don't remember though. Okay, so it looks like we are having a little, a little hostility. <laughs> she doesn't want to jump through the hoop and we're trying to persuade her to do it. But she, there she goes. Good job, Cassidy. Oh, look at that. I like it. So, I mean, I don't know how much else. Yeah, she's pooped, y'all. She don't want to do this anymore. Um, so we're just going to kind of look around a little bit more. Just take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, here's like a little mural. It's really pretty. And then look at the little food stand over there. Oh, my God. Do we go over there and actually look at it? I hope we do. I hope we do. I hope we do. Um, this is really cool. I love, like, the, the structures and just the buildings. They're so beautiful. I think we actually do have her come over here. And you can buy pet supplies. Awesome. Now, I think that's exactly what we're going to go do. And I'll show you guys the things that can actually be purchased. So here's some brand new bathrooms that are available. Um, and then this is like a really cool like uh, fountain. We have the new bench. Just a lot of cool stuff that we have available. And like the little lights that kind of light up everything. So we can buy a, we can buy a ball or give a dog a bone, a pet treat, a squeaker. And then what is that squeak of my finger? <laughs> <laughs> so some squeaky toys. Okay, I don't know if that's like chicken on a stick or what that is, but there is there's not a wide um, selection of pet supplies you can pick up. I thought you were able to get treats and things, but I guess not. Anyway, I do believe that that cat right there is a stray. You can order food. You can get fish tacos, um, a, what is it? Like a something sandwich. I think it might be like a fish sandwich. I don't know. It just looks really cool. I like it. And look at the, look at the waterfall and the stream. <gasps> Can you guys imagine the photos that we will take? I mean, honestly, do you guys, if you follow that little bush should not be like that, by the way, just, just saying, ignore that. <laughs> not final software means not final software, by the way. Um, but can you guys actually see Pace? and June living in this beautiful, beautiful town. Um, I think those lots are for sale. They are. It's like a little tiny coastal neighborhood. I would love to have them live in one of these houses. But unfortunately, 
I don't think we can afford it. So in Brindlin Bay, there's also a lighthouse too. Uh, I don't know if we actually check it out in this part or the next episode, but one of the two. Um, and you can actually have your Sims go up there and it can interact and talk and you get like this gorgeous view of Brindlin Bay. And um, it's, it's a really, really, really nice scenic spot to take photos or propose even. I kind of wish Paige and June weren't married so we could do all that. But uh, I mean, we can definitely renew our vows. So I think we're kind of just about finished here with um, checking out Brindlin. I just wanted to show you all like the, the town around the oh and we can also by the way attack pigeons and we can command Cassidy or Chastity I don't know what her name is to go and have a run at these poor little pigeons I love birds I know a lot of people don't but here she comes in with a quickness and they fly away so now if you see like you know a flock of birds you can actually kind of interact with them you can attack the pigeons you can have your dog attack the pigeons I don't know if it makes your dog aggressive or anything but I think it's a cute little added feature so what was I also mentioning oh yeah I was just showing you guys like the outskirts of the town and it actually feels really different like it feels like home it feels like a open map which is kind of cool because I know I know with like San Myshuno I felt like it was really like you would have all these different sectors but it was just really small feeling and this feels pretty darn big feels really really big and as we're like kind of trying to take some scenic you know screen grabs here um and peaks around town I promise you we'll be we'll be done here oh that is the that is the uh, vet clinic by the way <laughs> Yeah, I can't actually take you guys inside to show you any gameplay of it, but I think I'm allowed to show the outside since it is, you know, outside. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know what else I'm doing. There's just a lot of brand new, brand new um, uh, statues and things like that. Like, seriously, you guys, this place is absolutely gorgeous. But I do believe we are just about to head on home now. Thank you for being patient with me. I know that's a little, it's a little strange just kind of hanging out and, taking a peek but I know a lot of you actually want to see the world so even though it seems a little boring to me just to be like okay there's I feel like I feel like you're you're a Brindlin Bay tour guide <laughs> all right so we are back at the Chateau Fries and we have acquired Justin acquired the cooking skill apparently he's making something um so here are our pet supplies uh somebody ended up putting the uh cat litter box backwards I didn't do that by the way that came like that so maybe that's not final software see what I'm saying I don't know or somebody was trying to play a mean trick on me and the cat would like poop everywhere I'm not sure um I did mention I think already but if there's a little bit of ghosting in the items or just the world in general it's something with my my rig I don't know I was using um obviously EA's computer and and just, it was doing this, and I'm like, what am I going to do? You know, I can't ask for another computer. I can only deal with it right now. So that's exactly what we're doing. And it looks like, oh, I think the cat's name is like Bartholomew or Bartholomew. I don't know. It's like some extra freaking name, and it's so cute. I, oh, is she petting the kitty? Good pets. Oh, my God. I love it. Clem. Okay, I need to know. I need to know. Clem needs a dog or a cat. I want a dog. I really do. Somebody was saying June needs a corgi, and... <laughs> Pace needs a body. I feel like you're right. I don't know though. Okay, so I feel like I want to naturally go to this boat and click on it, but I can't. Why? Why don't I do that? I think I'm just like skimming The Sims right now. There's a whole bunch. Do you guys see the anchovies? <gasps> How cool. Oh my gosh, there's just like a pile of fish hanging up there. And obviously there's various fishing spots too, by the way, that you can go and um, have fun and hang out at the docks. There is so many scenic things that you can do here. It's ridiculous. Like, if your sim loves the outdoors, you're absolutely going to adore this. Um, so, you know, just kind of like a casual day here at the, oh, a toy box here at the Delgado family. Uh, I think that the mother is a veterinarian. I'm not sure, though. But there is a little toy box, and I think that's a really cute idea. What am I looking for? The vacuum cleaner. Yes. Okay, so I did mention in the build-by mode that there was a robot. Uh, vacuum I think it's called the robo oh, okay this is the robovac dock so you can either get it in two pieces or you can get one um all together I think right or there's actually yeah no there's okay so there's the classic version and then there's the one that looks like a stack of pancakes which I think is so freaking cute and uh, I think what we're gonna do is actually have Mr. Justin Delgado 
go and vacuum up the house even though it's hardwood floors you know pets have dander and there you guys can kind of see it's starting to move but Jen needs to Jen needs to take a screen cap I know I could cut all this out but like why you know what I mean so get an up close personal look of it and that's what it kind of looks like just rolling around the floor there, which I think is kind of cool. It kind of almost looks like a freaking smoke detector, to be honest with you. Uh, it looks like the, the little dude of the household is kind of playing on the computer. Just so much lighting in this house, like so much. It's beautiful. And then you can honestly see, um, honestly, obviously see the little, see how like, yeah, the little, the little sun bench thing. I like that because I have made... Um, those kind of like odd corners, I guess, like half hexagon, I don't know, uh, before my house is and I just didn't have anywhere to put it. But I think Bartholomew is, uh, he's stalking. He is totally stalking that little girl right now. <laughs> Look at mom. She looks like she has had a day. I mean, training is absolutely hard work. So as we're kind of going through the home here, you can see the brand new fireplace, the curtains. Um, I really love how bright and open and airy this is. The chairs are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, what is the poodle about to do? I think we are. Oh, and you can even Simstagram your pet. Yeah, pets can have Simstagram. It's kind of weird, but it's true. And you can take like little screenies and stuff. And I think they even save to your inventory. So if you're totally proud of your pet, which you should be as any pet owner would, um, you can you can take photos of them and you can make them like little Instagram stars. Not like really Instagram stars, but you know what I mean. Maybe in your own imagination, I think. I don't know what happens once you take the photos, if they actually develop a following. Uh, but it looks like, oh, okay. Instagram starter gained 25 Instagram followers. <gasps> Is that new? Wait a minute. Woo! Okay. Holla at you, girl. It looks like maybe, possibly, you can't. I don't know. I... Like I said, didn't get a lot of time to really check that out, but that is fine. All right, so Bartholomew, he is so extra. I swear, he's the boss of this house. I love him. He's going to go and have a little have a little grub, and I think I'm inching or irking to, ooh, there's a stray, to have the family or have mom and dad go explore a little bit. So I think that's what we are about to do. I don't know why I keep going down to the stock. Like, what am I doing? Click the damn boat, Jennifer. Click it. <laughs> Can I do it? Oh, okay. I think I did. Oh, seriously, I was giving myself anxiety. Just, no. Uh, okay, really, really, really. Are you serious right now? Go back to the boat, Jen. Go back to the boat. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, there we go. Travel to the lighthouse. Travel to the lighthouse with. Okay, awesome. I take that back. When I said you could travel various places with the boat, you can't. You can only travel to the lighthouse. I did not know that. That sucks. Okay. Reward. Cassidy has started to gain some attention. Um, and it's all coming from... Oh, my God. You can make your pets a Instagram star. Uh, it looks like we have something in our household inventory. And it looks like she got sent a ball. So, Cassidy is actually famous. Well, I was wrong about the boat. But I was absolutely right about this Instagram thing. You can actually make your pets famous. So, we're going to go travel to the lighthouse. Do a little, you know tour there um i think i even have you know the delgado uh mom and dad do a little whoop de doop de uh justed in i think her name is like supra i'm not sure but like supra is like toyota supra it's a car anyway whatever um anyway we are here and i definitely think she needs a makeover by the way i'm not sure if that's something i do do in this video but uh here is the lighthouse building the actual lighthouse is up that hill over there as you guys can see in the back and this is what it looks like it is absolutely beautiful oh my god oh, i wish i could live here i love i love windenburg and i feel like windenburg is very coastally too but this is just a different type of coastal. It's almost like Pacific, Pacific Northwest coastal. That's what I feel. That's what it, that's the vibes it gives me. Like this reminds me of home almost. Like we have um, some, some lighthouses out here and especially with like the, the turning of the leaves and stuff like that. It, it just, it looks like home. Anyway, she's going to go take a little bit of a potty break and I think we're pretty much done for this first part. Now I know, I know doing a voiceover after the fact, ugh, girl, it's rough. 
It's rough. It's going to be rough for anybody who does this. But I hope you guys had a good time and I'm super duper excited to share with you guys the rest of the footage that I got. And I think in the second part, we will be showcasing what adoption looks like, how you adopt animals in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And then we also will be doing a little <laughs> lighthouse rendezvous, aka lighthouse woohoo, which I'm sure you all want to check out the new woohoo spot because trust me, it is a good time and a half. I mean, that is where babies are made, people. That is where babies are made. And there is even a brand new bar in Brindlin where uh, Mr. Justin Delgado blows off a little bit of steam. So with that said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all in part two of the Cats and Dogs. Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, actually, <laughs> next time. Bye, guys. Oh.